Hi guys, welcome to this module on basic flow charts. I'm going to create a very simple flow chart and have a look at shape data. So first of all, to create a flow chart, I'm going to pull a start shape. Now when you pull a shape onto the canvas, you get these little arrows coming out of the bottom of it, which gives you the option to select a different shape from either side or above, wherever you want. So I want a, a decision shape, which is this triangle to come out from below. Now, so this process is going to be in, about induction. So I'm gonna call that, um, I'll just call that start start and then the first decision is paper work correct so the paper works correct we can continue down the process so I will have a process and the next process will be induction if it's not correct I'm going to have another process which will be reapply reapply. So a person will have to go back to the start. Next I want um, another decision. Right to work. Yes or no decision. If it's yes, it can go to another process. If it's no, they need to reapply again. So this process can be admin uh, and now it appears like I have run out of space on this particular sheet, so I can go a bit further down, but I'm going to create what's called an off-page reference. I'm putting that shape onto here, and it will give me an off-page reference to page number two. I'm going to click onto that, and then I can carry on. So I'm on page two, there's page one. I'm in the admin department. So on the top of page two, I'm going to have a decision, admin correct. And again, we do the same process. If it's not correct, we have reapply. If it is correct, we move on to finance. Finance. We're moving into finance, and again, another decision for finance. Um, wages, correct. And this time, the process is going to be slightly different. If the wages aren't correct, I'm going to say finance. I want them to go back to finance. Now, there isn't a connecting line between the two, so I'm going to put a connector on there. So basically, I'm going to go from there back into finance. I'll take that connecting tool off. And then I can have a look at that. The arrow is pointing in the right way. So there's a circle going there. And to make this a bit more clearer, I'm just going to double click on that line and put no and then on this next line I'll put yes so if it's yes it's missed that if it's yes they go down to the next box so finance if finance and wages correct they're going to H, the HR department from HR they are going to meet the team and then finally that will be the end of the process. End of process. Now I need to quickly go back, I think, to tidy this up a little bit. So I'm okay with this one. If I double click on this off page reference, I get a small hyperlink symbol. It should take me back to page one. So I'm gonna put my yes and no's on these lines. So that is a no. This is a yes. 
that one is a no double click this one is a yes double click there are no more there now I could do arrows from here back to the start which I think I will do so connector on that one uh, just go back to the start and connect on this one also go back to the start now I'm not liking the way that line goes so just delete that line do it from the side back to the start okay take the line uh, the connector to off click the pointer to so that looks okay go on to page two that looks okay. Now, going back to page one, what you can do on any of these shapes, if I click on induction, for example, on the right hand side there, I've activated the shape data option. I'll just close it for now so you can see where I got that from. If I right click on this shape, you've got data and then shape data, which will bring this pane which is docked at the moment but it's not usually docked I mean normally it would come as a box like that and then you can fill this information in or change this information if you don't like that information so I'll just put a cost in there so you can see how that works and you can give it a process number if you want and owner all this information is stored as a database in the shapes themselves if you find that you haven't got enough information or this information is not correct, you can right click on the shape, go to date, data and define shape data and maybe add a different one. So I'm just going to add a different one, new, call that department. It's going to be a string, just leave that there. You've got four more options there, but I'll just leave that as the default. That'll do, click OK, and then you get the extra box there, and I could put sales, sales department, and I could delete these off through that for process if I, if I didn't feel like I needed to use these, and then I can close this if it's taking up too much space, and that is how you create a very, very simple flowchart.